We beg to differ, Justice Ginsburg. We don't believe that there is an important interest here. In 2011, Cardozo students were able to enroll in an innovative class called the Supreme Court Theory and Practice. Professor Kate Shaw employed a unique combination of lectures and role-playing to explain how the nation's highest court works. So I wanted to give the students both an introduction to the Supreme Court as an institution and some practical kind of hands-on experience doing what the justices on the court and the advocates who argue before the court do. Each of the students was assigned a single justice who they would play for the duration of the semester, and each student was also assigned a case they would argue as an advocate before the court. Composers, teachers, they all depend heavily. Their livelihood depends on the promise that but these works. The, the idea of Section 514 is to give artists and composers the same protection in, in foreign countries. So in a way, aren't we almost securing them more protection? You know, in law school, we spend a lot of time learning to be advocates, but I've never really taken the time before this class to um, explore what it would be like to be on the other side of the bench. When designing the class, Professor Shaw was able to draw on her past experience as a clerk for Supreme Court Justice John Paul Stevens. Well, as an institution that is still large, much of which is largely shrouded in mystery, I would say, I think it would have been difficult to design the same course, um, in particular the simulation portion of it, without that personal experience, I think, inside the court. I was shocked by how efficient it was, to be honest. I mean, it was so quick. The class got to witness the Supreme Court in action when they took a trip to Washington, D.C. in November. In a classroom, you know, it's more of a learning experience and people want to be more involved interactively with the argument, whereas justices on the Supreme Court might have, you know, a be obviously a better and more nuanced understanding of the law. We listen to oral arguments in class, but it's a very different uh, dynamic getting to actually see these almost mythical creatures, you know, these characters in person. Certainly as composers and teachers of music, um, petitioners have respect for the financial interests of other owners of music rights. So I play Sotomayor and while I tend to get very engaged, I know she probably asked only, you know, one or two questions today. So um, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll take my turn at just being a little more quiet and listening a little more. Participating in this class and seeing the court and sort of looking more into the lives of the different justices creates a better understanding that they're people doing a job.